Oh my gosh, today was full of drama. And you can see the sun is out, so I'm back on a p.m. trip. It is 5.20 p.m. and I have to be here at 5.45, so I'm early, which is awesome. And I got a little distracted packing my food bag today. Um, my neighbors were all out, all the kids were out, so I was out, so I forgot my creamer for tomorrow. But I'll live. So I'm super happy. This is a pretty easy trip, well, it's simple. <laughs> Working one flight to Philly tonight and then overnight in Philly and then one home tomorrow and I get home at about 10 p.m. So that is the plan. So let's get those bags and get out of the car. Let's do this thing. backpack in the gate area, got on the plane, realized it right away luckily, ran out to the gate area, let the agent know and he must have made an announcement and they looked in the gate area and found it. But I couldn't have flown without it because it has my flight attendant manual and other required items in it. So all my safety checks are done. We're just getting ready to board. Um, actually we're waiting on the cleaners. I think they might have forgotten our flight but we got them on board now so they're taking care of that. But. I'm sweating. That was a hectic way to start this trip. <laughs> it's gonna, can only go up from here. So we got to our hotel, I'm going to give you a little tour, I'm going to get changed, and then I will tell you about all the drama. Alright, so it's a fun little suite. So we've got this front room here with the couch, I already hung up my coat, it was warm in here, TV, and then you walk through, we've got like a little wet bar area, and so coffee pot and a refrigerator, yay refrigerators! And then we got the bathroom. Woo! Let there be light. And we've got a closet. It's got a safe 
all the normal hotel amenities. And then we got the back bedroom here. Another TV, mirror, and then king size bed. Yes, it is currently 1.13 a.m. in the morning. Let's take a look. Okay, we'll have to look out tomorrow, but it looks like it's just a parking lot. <laughs> so, there's the room. Okay, so I'm gonna fill you in on the drama, and then I'm gonna eat my food and go to bed, or something along those lines. So I get to the gate early, and I'm the first flight attendant there. So I go down to the plane, and I wait a couple minutes, and then the rest of the crew shows up. Everything's cheesy again. This is one flight to Philly. That's all we have to survive, one flight to Philly. I get on the plane, I head to the back, and I put my suitcase up in the overhead bin and I have my food bag and then I'm like, where's my backpack? And I had set my backpack down someplace in the gate area because I was early, so I was just sitting in the gate area. So I told the lead flight attendant, the A flight attendant, and the FO that I forgot my backpack, I've gotta go up and get it because I can't fly without it. It has my manual in it, so we'd have to print a complete paper manual which can, takes a whole ream of paper, a whole ream of paper. And then also there's other required items in my backpack, my passport and my flashlight and other required items I need for flying. So I go up to the gate area, I look at the two areas I had been sitting in, I don't see it. I asked the customer service agent, they hadn't seen it. And then I talked to our operations agent, the person who boards the plane, and I told him I was gonna go back down to the plane and look again, um, cause I, you know, I was feeling frazzled cause I couldn't find it. And so I told him, well, maybe you could make an announcement and see if it's in the gate area. So I get back on the plane and I get back to the back of the plane and it's not there. So right when, lo and behold, I was calling scheduling and right when I was calling scheduling, um, they got a, the ops agent came down on the plane and he had my backpack. So yay, so that had me kind of frazzled. And then I was walking back to the front of the plane and I noticed all the tray tables were down. So that meant the cleaners hadn't been on the plane yet, but I heard him say, are you guys ready to board? And so I get up to the front and I go, the cleaners haven't been on yet. And so we had to stop boarding and the captain had to go up and call. And of course they're like, oh yeah, they've already been there. And the captain's like, no, they haven't. And then right as the captain, I guess, was coming back down, the cleaner was getting on. He's like, no, I haven't been here. So we all pitched in, we helped the cleaner clean up the aircraft and we were able to then start boarding. So those are two little drama moments. And then we, we have five people with pets and they I believe they were all dogs and the rule is the pet has to stay in the carrier underneath the seat and especially for takeoff and for landing now when we're in cruise you can have the carrier on your lap but it has to stay zipped and the the dog the pet has to stay inside so um there's no emotional support animals anymore it's just service animals and pets and so we are on takeoff and we are we're, I think, I don't think he dinged us yet for 10,000 or he just had, it was kind of, it was bumpy. So we were still sitting in the back and lo and behold, this dog <laughs> comes walking into the back alley and we're like, what, who does this one belong to? Because we had told another lady who had boarded, sat down and gotten the dog out and it was on her lap. No, the dog has to go in and under the seat. Well, it didn't belong to her. It belonged to somebody else on the plane. So it was bumpy. Um, the dog was just hanging out in the um, row behind us. The people right at the, at the back of the plane were petting it and stuff. And so, yeah, when then the, the owner finally got up and came down to get her dog. So that was fun. Oh, and I forgot to tell you one other thing. Right before we were leaving, somebody in the very, I'm in the very back. I was flying B, my favorite position. I'm in the very back. And someone in the front got taken off the plane. And I thought, well, and he didn't have a mask on. So I thought, well, maybe he got pulled off because he was refusing to wear a, ma wear a mask. And 
come to find out, I guess he was showing serious signs of intoxication. We can't tell someone that they are drunk because, uh, but we see the signs of intoxication and I guess he was kind of um, leaning on the woman next to him and encroaching in her seat and stuff and so the ops agent and the A flight attendant didn't feel it was safe and so they had him removed and so hopefully if they can determine what his issue was they will just send him on another flight later on but let's just say that was a lot a lot i don't do drama i don't do drama because i don't like doing paperwork so i'm gonna eat my sushi and just chillax and then i'll see you guys tomorrow All right, so I took a shower and got into bed. I'm laying on my heating pad. Um, a lot of times my back gets sore from flying, so I never leave home without a heating pad. I am watching a little Netflix and I'm trying to resist these things. Have you guys, have you tried these things? They're so good. Um, I probably will not resist. I'm gonna just chill a little bit. It is two something a.m. and then I'm gonna go to bed. But we don't have, we have a late check-in tomorrow. We don't have to be in the lobby until 4.40 in the afternoon. So I'm gonna enjoy some downtime. It's supposed to rain, so it's probably gonna be just a super awesome day, chilling in bed, getting some editing done, getting some stuff done, and that's probably what's gonna happen. See you in the morning. Good morning. Well, actually, good afternoon. So it is currently 1.12. <laughs> I woke up and I talked to my husband on the phone for about 45 minutes and got my breakfast together. Now I'm gonna eat my breakfast and yeah, I've got some stuff to share with you. And then we do one home to Philly today. So I'm gonna eat my breakfast. It is, I don't think it actually rained like it was supposed to, but it just doesn't, it looks icky. And I was looking on the maps and there's nothing around here, like nothing. So looks like I'm gonna have a lazy, hopefully productive day in the hotel. Have to be down in a couple hours. So I don't have a ton of time, but I really enjoyed sleeping in and I'm gonna eat my breakfast now. Okay, so I had to leave my parking spot because I had such a good parking spot that someone like stalked me to my parking spot, which I completely understand. So I couldn't vlog right when I got into my car, but here I am, I'm back in Denver. It was a really good trip. Um, I flew with someone I have flown with in the past and I flew with some other great ladies. And so next week, again, three day, at least that's the plan. You guys, if you started watching my videos, you know that I like to trade my stuff. So we'll see, but I hope you guys have a great, great rest of your day and I'll see you in the sky.